Australia's longest dune field stretches 190 kilometres from the mouth of the Murray River to Kingston in South Australia's southeast. More than a kilometre wide in places, it's a barrier between the pounding waves of the Southern Ocean and the internationally significant and protective wetlands of the Coorong. So all of our creation stories are formed out of these very sand dunes that we're standing within right now. But this unique environment is facing an existential threat, and that's a serious worry for anyone living close to the coast. We're seeing a, a beach and dune erosion of about three metres per year plus. So, you know, every few months we come, two or three months and it's gone more, and the dunes are massively rapidly changing, incredible rates of change. Professor Patrick Hesp first came here in the 1970s. He returned 40 years later and was shocked by the speed of change. We were driving this beach and there'd been a huge amount of erosion and cliffing and so we stopped and went up onto the dunes and it was just utterly changed and, and uh, I was amazed by it. When I was in school, Ecologist Faith Coleman has been studying the Coorong for 30 years after falling in love with the area through Colin Tealy's Storm Boy story. She says research done by Professor Hesp shows climate change is having a dramatic effect. The funny thing about climate change is things are exponential. What's going to happen is it's going to get faster and faster, and the question is how fast? The research indicates the rate of change is being supercharged by rising sea levels, stronger wave energy, and the erosion of an offshore reef. As the shoreline is cut away, the sand is moving inland faster than previously thought. We've seen in the last 10 years or less a new dune field develop that's gone up to 200 metres wide across the, du the older dune system and continuing to expand landwards. The dunes are marching towards the Coorong South Lagoon at about 10 metres per year. This rapid change is seen as a warning sign for everyone living close to the coast. I don't see that government is doing enough anywhere in the world to really mitigate climate change uh, and to make coastal communities think more about retreat options, for example. Nature will have its way. It doesn't matter what we believe in, who we believe in, but nature will have its way. That's the warning from this remote part of South Australia to those of us living in urban coastal communities.